Hey guys, Chris Hatton from Roseville, CA, up here to do a little hike to the Peter Grub Hut to uh, eat some good grub. Um, it would be nice to have a little bit more snow, but uh, I think it's going to be cool. We're going to have a good time. Uh, we're hopefully going to meet some uh, weird and wonderful people up there, like you can see in the background over there, and uh, maybe have a few, uh, few drinky poos and uh, Enjoy yourself. <laughs> so uh, follow us on our little hike. Peace. Where's Rainbow Lodge? <laughs> well, as you can see, we made it. Not very far, but uh, far enough for an Englishman. Um, just uh, talking about what we do if we see some bears. It's agreed it's going to be the crane. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to get it there and wet our whistles in a minute because Zai's getting a little thirsty. We're 1.3 into a 2.3 hike. There you go. Perfect. And a bit of snow, which we didn't expect. Awesome scenery. Beautiful scenery. Yeah. Between Castle and Andesite. The saddle. That's where we're going to peak at right now is between those two peaks. And then we're gonna go drop down the back side. Hey guys, we are almost there. We've almost lost light, but we have GPS to help us. And, uh, and it's getting windy. Where are we at? We're at. Sitting on the saddle. Sitting on the saddle. Sitting on the saddle. <laughs> Andesite Peak back up there, and then twist around. Castle Peak is up there. Right here, Peter Mr. Hatton. Yo, everybody. Well, it's a little scarier than it was earlier. There's a lot more snow and a lot less light. And uh, yeah, we uh, definitely. I didn't think this was going to be an adventure like this. Um, snowshoe would be tough. And I think we're almost there. But Mr. GPS knows the answer to that. And God. And God, the two of them. So this is what we're looking at right now. It's pretty. Not much light. All right, let's trek a little bit. Let me... moment I'm thinking about how lame it was Jason didn't tell me to bring a mattress but the more wine I'm drinking the more I'm forgetting about it. <laughs> Great steaks, very basic cabin up here. But, um, That's a nice medium rare actually. Maybe even a better, yeah that is a solid medium rare. And hanging out drinking um, some wine. Eat. T-bone, oh no, ribeye, not T-bone, ribeye, and Caesar salad tonight. Um, met a bunch of new and interesting people. Uh, there's like three different rooms here, basically. So um, it's very interesting. Peter Grubb was 19 years old. This was built in his name after he died in a sunstroke bicycling accident in Europe. Um, his family and friends built this house for a hut for him, and then, in his honor, I should say. And then they expanded onto the side beside it. It's amazing, though. We get to see a bunch of pictures here of things. That try that. Interesting. That guy hauled this whole thing back here. I'm assuming this is the park bench we're eating off of.
Chris. What's the story? Hey guys, it's morning, and uh, as usual, me and Jace, late 30s, put a load of 20 year olds to shame. <laughs> Stayed out till 11 drinking with the first up and out. Just need I say more. Um, but hey, it's a beautiful morning. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, the sun coming up, you know? There's a uh, castle peak. Back on right there. Sun's poking up the back there. <laughs> Top of the pass, first thing in the morning. It's the castle peak that we could not see last night. having a little chuck with myself. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we're at the end of our trip, man. It was wicked, wicked. Um, a little harder than what I thought. The rope hut was a little more remote and desolate, filled with weirdos than I thought. <laughs> but uh, I had a wicked time. And uh, I'm going to polish it off with some breakfast and a beer in a minute. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.